one thing about Fall I've always done is really kind of had fun people acting in it. And with Fallout 3, it really continued. And so we want to make sure we're still doing that. And obviously, you have Ron Perlman coming back. Ron Perlman has been the voice of Fallout for so long, it was kind of like, well, of course, he's going to be the narrator. You are a courier hired by the Mojave Express. It's nice to be working on this same character for this many installments over this span of time. The Legate is crowned as the new Caesar. We really took it character to character and just looked for who would really be the best voice for the role. The man who tried to murder you, who's uh, voiced by Matthew Perry in the game, this guy is the leader of a gang called the Chairman. I play Benny, who is a uh, very driven, kind of uh, rat pack type guy. Baby, you can't just leave me tied up. Those Legion boys will put me on a cross for the mess you made, if I'm lucky. He's really, really enthusiastic and a genuine fan, and he was really easy to work with. You know, he seemed to really get the idea behind the character. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Fallout is just bigger and smarter than any game I've played before. There's like just amazing amounts of things to do, and I like the idea that you can you know, sort of pick what you're gonna say to somebody and go on all these quests, and it's just this gigantic world that seems sort of endless. Like I said, baby, all Benny needs is a stealth boy and a bobby pin. I also, you know, have gone on dates and stuff, too. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not just a moron who just plays video games. I just wanna get that in there. You do that for me, baby? Don't tease me if you don't mean it. The DJ of Radio New Vegas is Mr. New Vegas, and it's voiced by Wayne Newton. Howdy, folks, it's Mr. New Vegas, and I have a good feeling about all of you listening. He's always really upbeat. He always is very pro-Vegas, and it always has something good to say about what's going on. Moving on here, this will be line two. Well, you know what that means, folks. Time for some news. Of all the things that I have done in my career, and I've, I've done one or two, this has been the one thing that I have looked forward to because it was so out of the realm of what I have done in my career. This is Mr. New Vegas wishing you ladylike luck tonight. I didn't have anything to do with being called Mr. Las Vegas. It was just the fact that I worked here so much and I wouldn't leave. That somewhere, somehow, one of the writers uh, said, well, this has got to be Mr. Las Vegas. Want it again? Yeah, that was great, but just one more time for the safety. Hey, we've got some news for you coming right up. We were lucky enough to get uh, Felicia Day to be one of our uh, Brotherhood of Steel members, which is fantastic, and it makes my nerdly heart glow. Recording Felicia Day has been uh, just a joy because she's so enthusiastic and she's so excited. There's got to be something we can do. Veronica is a scribe for the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, and she's sort of sardonic. She's really bright and also likes to punch things. So uh, she's got everything going on for her, really. <laughs> they need me and I'm not going to abandon them. That's what I actually like about the character is that she's a rabble rouser, but it's for the good of everyone. She really wants to improve everyone's life and she's willing to buck the system to get it done. When I read it, I, I, I read the copy, I was like, oh, this is, this is great. I just don't even have to be anything but a sassy me. It really sounds like it could be a good fit doesn't it? The character that I voice, his name is Arcade. He's a doctor. You have the option as the main character to befriend Arcade. I honestly didn't expect you to say that. When I talked to you about Daisy and the others, you seem to put a lot of value and loyalty to the past. I've made it very clear to the powers that be, I'm a gamer. I'd like to do voices for your games. I'll have friends who aren't gamers and they do voices. I'm like, that's, that's so unfair. Like, I actually care about this and you're the one who got to do the job. Bubkiss. I need to make a stop before I settle in. I'll be back in a while. Thanks again for your help. It means a lot to me. Cool. Yeah, great. Hey, great man. Marcus is a mutant, first of all. Uh, he's been around for a lot of years, and he's aged over the years, but he's still mutant-like. And he is sort of like the sheriff of Jacobstown, which is near New Vegas. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. With Rene Aubergenois, from his very first line, he got the character, he got the tone, he got the delivery. Mr. House, he's a very strange and enigmatic character. Give me 20 years and I'll reignite the high technology development sectors. 50 years and I'll have people in orbit. His hope is to reignite and reinvigorate this world. Just in awe of his talent because he's such a voiceover pro. Now that you've arrived at your destination, what do you make of what you see? 
Some say he's a man, others a machine. I don't care. He's in the way. My word is law. I'm an extremely powerful character. Uh, violence is how I rule. Walk away if you want, but if you do, he's going up on a cross. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? If I find my way into a voice, a, a sort of a person will appear that doesn't sound like me and it doesn't think like me. That's always when it's the, the best, because it surprises me, it surprises them. <laughs> well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. I can throw the gun at him if you want, boss. Raul is like a very smart old ghoul. He's got a lot of wisdom and a lot of experience, you know, so he uses it sparingly, but he's pretty sharp. It was early on. We didn't know just how serious it was out there. Not too long ago, they took Nelson and Searchlight. They got some camps on the eastern shore of the Colorado and the monstrosity on the hill across the lake. That's for Caesar. Chris Christopherson, uh, who's uh, got an amazing voice, very thick and, and uh, gravelly and, and really fun to work with. Just keeping that dam secure and operational day to day is enough work for one person. Every officer I ever talked to, or any, every, every soldier, you know, probably influenced some of my delivery on this. So this will be lines one through seven, and it'll be take one whenever you're ready. Rangers, this is the chief. I know I can ramble on sometimes, but I need you to listen close for the next minute or so. I hope players play this game, and I want them to be fully immersed in the world, and I want them to really feel each character when they're speaking to them as a totally different individual. Yeah! Ain't that party?